Welcome back again. You might be already familiar with a tool like Zapier, the one which is offering a good connection in between two different applications. Then this tool is widely popular in the market and almost every individual is using this kind of automation tool to make their day-to-day -day task easier. But the problem with the Zapier is obviously it has all the functions to connect all sort of applications but if you go with that free account it is only allowing you to use 100 tasks per month. Here the task means let's say if you connected two applications and if any event triggered that will be counted as one task. So under a free account it is offering you 100 tasks and if you wanted to use the starter plan which is the basic plan from where you will start initially you will be paying around $20 per month only for 750 tasks per US uh, per month. That means the beginner plan of this tool itself is $20 just for 750 tasks. So I was checking a couple of alternatives in the market and then came across a tool called Sure Trigger. So you can see on my screen, in this video, I will review this tool. We'll talk about all the features, what I figured out, and we'll try to understand which this tool has been developed by which team. And then we'll try to figure out what are the applications it's currently supporting. And at the end, I will show you a demo how to use this tool to trigger the event and how this can be another best alternative for Zapier and that even for 100% free. So without any further delay, let's jump onto the screen. But if you are new to this channel, really interested in such digital marketing tool and the way you can sort out or unlock your digital marketing journey, then make sure you subscribe to this channel. Let's jump onto the screen. So here you can see on my screen, name of the tool itself is a short trigger. I will provide a link down below. You can simply click it and come to this page. What this tool does, it does something similar job as what Zapier is doing. So you can see it has all the options to connect with different set of applications. But as I said, this is a brand new tool. So all the connections, all the app connections are currently not in place. A lot of them are in the beta version. So hopefully in the future, they will be adding those. So if you will scroll down, this tool has been developed by the same company who already developed these very popular tools. So Astra, you might have heard about one of the most popular WordPress theme. Cardflow is another tool or a plugin using which you can build your own funnels on top of the WordPress. So that is also been built by this team only and short trigger is another tool been developed by them. So it's a well-known company who developed this another tool. Now the another bit is you can see here fairly the similar process they have explained. You first have to select what are the applications, applications you need to connect. Then you can set up your own trigger and then after once that trigger happened, what are the actions you would like to perform this application? So something similar as what Zapier is doing. But if you will check the pricing plan, you'll be surprised to know that currently it is offering everything for 100% free because it is in the beta version. But even if you will compare that free plan, which is which I'm hoping will remain same in the future, even they will start uh, charging for the pro and agency plan. Still under a free plan, they'll be offering you 1000 tasks per month without paying anything. So if you compare this thing and you will go back, it is 10 times more than the Zapier free plan. That means ultimately create your free account and reserve a free account with a short trigger in case you would like to use this for a future purpose. So let's see how exactly this tool is, what are the applications currently supporting and how their backend look like. For time being, what I did is I have created my own free account. You can create yours. Simply click to the get started, provide your name, email ID, and you will be within the dashboard. It doesn't ask you for any payment or any sort of a detail. So the moment when you will be uh, in so the moment when you will be logged in, this is how the dashboard will look like. It is just going to give you a brief overview on how exactly you can set up your own triggers and what are the apps you can connect and everything. Workflow is the area where we will set up our automation. So I will go through that. History is something where you can see what are the tasks been already triggered as part of the overall short trigger account. Apps will give you a list of the applications which already you connected with the short trigger for your day to day connections. Let's say I have connected my own Google account while I was doing a testing. So likewise, whatever the tools you connected, let's say you have connected your chat GPT account, your teachable account, your Google account, everything you should be able to see what are the connections already in place and how many workflow you already did set up on that particular connection. So setting is the area where basically you will be having here all these options to change the time zone. So accordingly, the event will be triggered. You can import and export here a sort of a workflow. And then after there is a WordPress connection. So basically, if you have a WordPress site there, even you can connect this short trigger from the WordPress itself. So that's the sort of feature they are currently offering. Ignore this pro plan because as I said, like 
any plan you can sign up right now and you'll be having all those access free until it is in the beta version but uh, that's overall overview of a short trigger which i believe something similar as what you can see inside this api but the interesting part is let's set up a workflow and see how it works what are the applications currently it's supporting and what are there in the beta version so for time being you have to click to the create workflow just give a name here let's say i will give a name here like kirti shwiyas test and then after start building. So the moment when you will click it, you will be on the screen where first we have to decide from where we have to start our automation. So that means our trigger point. In, in this example, what I did is basically I've created here a contact form. So it is more of an appointment book form in the Google itself, which is a Google form. So if anybody comes to this page, provide his name, email ID, phone number, on which date he needs an appointment and what time and the purpose of that and simply submit it. So this will be the trigger. And I wanted to book an event in my Google calendar simply based on this date and time, what user provided. So that's the automation we will be setting, setting up here within the short trigger. So I wanted to show you how exactly this looks like. So you can compare yourself, whatever your experience with the API, okay? So now here you have to first click to the add trigger and let's see how many applications they are currently supporting. So you can see they have the short card, they have the active campaign, which is another most popular email marketing tool. If you will be setting up anything in the Zoom, so you can trigger an event via Zoom as well. So anything happens in the Zoom, you would like to set up something or send an email or something, you can set it up here. And if you will go down, you can see here a card flow is already there, click funnel is already there. So all this different list of tools, you can go through yourself and figure out whether the tool what you are using day to is already a part of this one or not and here you can see google form and google doc both of these are in the beta version so if i'll be triggering any event via google form there is a probability the automation will not work automatically instead i have to trigger it manually within the system so we'll try to trigger it manually to see whether it works when it will be live okay and google form is anyways if anything been triggered from here we are expecting this to go to the uh, google uh, calendar Something similar, almost all the tools, what we use in day to day, I can see over here. So this looks fine. Even the WooCommerce is there. Google, uh, sorry, Monday.com, it's more of an analytics tool. Even the Gmail is in the beta version. Google Sheet is already there, okay? Uh, so basically uh, the, the, the tools, what you can see here as uh, grayed out, that means these tools are yet not implemented, probably they are in their beta versions and they will be setting it up. So fairly new, but still a better alternative, just create your free account, okay? And try yourself. So here, what I will do is, as I said, first we'll use here a Google form. So I'll select here a Google form. So this is the area from where we will be triggering an event and what exactly it is. So anyways, whenever if any new response happen, that was the event I wanted to trigger over here. Now the connection. So this is the area where you have to connect your Google account. As I already showed you here under the app, I have already connected my Google account. So that's why the connection already displayed here. I'll be selecting it. Then this is the area where we have to provide what will be your Google form link. So you can see this is the Google form link. So I will be copying it and just entering out, uh, out, uh, out here. So now it will check whether this Google form is having the connection with this Google account. That means it is under this Google account and whether it has any data or not. So if I will click to the fetch data, so all the old entries what I already did so you can see on 21st of August I have tested that Google form while I was using this tool so you can see at that moment I have done all this entry and it was able to fetch them accurately that means this trigger is 100% working fine if it's not able to fetch the data try to feed some uh, dummy data and then try to click here as a fetch data and you will be easily figured out that uh, this connection is working 100% so you have to click to the save and that's how we already did set up a trigger. Okay, now let's go and what we want. So basically the action what we would like to perform here is calendar. Okay, so basically we would like to trigger an event in the Google calendar and when this event should be triggered. So what exactly the event should be triggered. So we would like to create an event in the Google calendar based on the entry in the form. Okay, then the connection something similar Google account. So I will set up here then select calendar. So anyways, we will be having that calendar under that account only. So I'll be telling like Google form is with the same account and the calendar itself is with the same account. So I've selected that calendar. Now here we have to describe an event. So what I will do is, is uh, let's say we will, we wanted here a custom message whenever if any event will be booked within the calendar. So let's say I will type here user and what is that user? Okay. So what happened is whatever the actions we already set up here, something similar you can figure out. If you will click to this icon, you can see whatever the data it already fast, it will be having those options. So user, which user? So ultimately in the form name John, it has taken under this 778B574. So that's the custom ID. So I'll be selecting this. So this user, which user, this user, what want? 
wanted to book appointment on which date again select whatever the date in the form which is this uh, particular custom value so i'll be selecting this on and this particular time which time eight and just type here the time user are already provided so nine o'clock in the morning okay likewise and what will be the attendees anyways the attendees will be the email id right so basically this user will be the attendee of that event so likewise you can add your own custom dynamic values based on whatever the data it has already fetched right so then after click to the test action and see whether this integration is working fine or not so you can see action tested successfully click to save the moment once you are done with that come back and click to publish so likewise what happened is now we are expecting anyone who provided any entry in the google form we wanted to have this event triggered and would like to book an appointment within the google calendar just now so let's fill here a couple of details let's say i will provide here my name as uh, mr vyas123 and then i will provide here an email id let's mr vyas at the gmail.com and then after the phone number let's say this is the phone number and let's provide here an email id like dummy email id and then the date on which uh, this user wanted to book an appointment let's say it's at 2nd of september and the timing would be around 11 o'clock in the morning and the response would be any so what happens is the moment when users submit this detail we are expecting that trigger to run and would love to book an appointment and supposed to book an appointment for 2nd of september 11 o'clock in the morning so just now i added that detail and now if you will go to the google calendar but as i said this is in the beta version so there is a probability it might not able to capture the data automatically but still we'll see we are expecting that event to be triggered automatically so if i will scroll up you can see around 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock which was our last user entry for that we are able to see the event is already been triggered and it's been added in the google calendar so it seems uh, pretty much similar as what Zapier is doing. But as I said, there are a couple of tools in the beta version. So this might take a longer time or might not trigger an event. So make sure you just create your free account, reserve the thousand tasks per month when the tool will be 100% active. And that's how you can start using this tool and take an advantage as a free alternative of Zapier. Going forward in the future, we'll make something similar videos. So make sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for the future videos. That's all for today. See you in the next one.